Helen this is my channel Helen Mary Jo if you're new here then welcome and if you're returning thank you so much and if you come across my videos and you like what you see please do subscribe it uh, makes all the difference and uh, I'll be very grateful so today is a quick one really I've just popped into uh, Southampton which is my nearest city and um, I, I just bought a few bits and I just thought you might be interested to see what my shopping consisted of today. So um, I got in there really early actually because I was going to go to a different shop and then the traffic to there was terrible. So I just went straight into the city and I actually got there before the shops opened. So Boots was open early so I went in there and um, first thing I thought was um, Rob made me laugh the first time he saw this in the bathroom cabinet just for men and um, I use it for my eyebrows uh, it's so so much cheaper than eyebrow dye well, there's Dolly she's been playing me a merry dance again today asking to go in and out every five minutes but I'm not giving her some, any treats today so she's out of luck because she was sick yesterday that was nice anyway so I bought that and then when I bought that they gave me a voucher if I spent £20 on number seven, which is like their own make, their own brand, I got £10 off. So I thought, well, that's, that's a good deal. So um, <laughs> they're not silly, are they? Everything um, kind of comes just to under £20. So there's Dolly asking to go out. So I'm just going to stop the camera quickly and let her out first. They're not silly, are they? She asked to go out and then came back in and asked to go into the um, living room because uh, I'd had the door shut because this is the first dry day we've had in days and days and it's actually nice and sunny. But I was out when she was taken out for a dog walk and I, I shut the front room door in case she comes back muddy. Anyway, you don't need to know all that boring house housey stuff. So, as I say, I got this... Um, £10 off £20 spend so I thought oh I'll get myself a new long stay lipstick so I got this one and um, you can see when I tried it in the store I put some on my hand that's been on there since uh, quarter to nine this morning and it's now 2 p.m so it is very long lasting and it's kind of a quite a natural kind of ready pink colour and then oh and then they had three for two so I, I got two lip pencils um both quite neutral I'll show you um well that one's quite bright actually but what I do is I put them on and then I kind of quickly smudge them in with the with the um lipstick so it's not a hard line so they were the lipstick was £11.95 and the pencils were £6.95 each. But then, of course, it was three for two. So then one pencil was free. So that took me under £20 again, which I was working out quickly. And um, so I said, well, what's the cheapest thing you've got here? So, you know, they're not daft, are they? Anyway, this was the cheapest thing that they had. I think that was £4 something. And they were just cleansing wipes and I said, oh, I'll just keep them in my overnight bag. Always handy. So that was a quick stop, quick pit stop at Boots. And I was down there because I wanted to get into Primark early. I only ever go into Primark early. I can't bear it once it gets busy and messy. And I don't know, I think I've said before, because it's a, a less expensive shop, you know, people just let things drop. So I just wanted to see if they had any um, little Christmas bits and bobs because they do some good stuff. So this is the first thing I picked up was um, a stacking game and that was £5 and that's got 22 wooden pieces. So that will probably go into one of the Christmas Eve boxes um, for the children. Then I bought them one of these each which is a letter to Santa pack and they were £1.30 each and they've got um, an envelope, some stickers, just some bits and bobs and they'll get those at the North Pole party, one each. Um, 
you know, as much as anything else, it gets them to practice writing. That's a good thing. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I, it was quite funny, actually. I saw these. They both love Harry Potter. So although Billy is obviously a boy, well, it's not obvious you can have a girl called Billy, but he's a boy of 10 and she's a girl of eight. Because I think she's got a big brother, she's not very girly. And she, they both love Harry Potter. So um, I got them one of these each, which is called um, an inter, interdepartmental memo and wand pen set. So basically, it's kind of got a pad with a hole in it to put the pen, but each piece of paper is marked so that you can make it into a flying aeroplane. And uh, what was quite funny about that, I put these in the basket and then I was wandering around the store and then I saw these again and I picked them up to put in the basket and I looked in the basket and they're already there. So I thought, well, I must really think they're good. So I thought that was quite good for $3.50. It's quite, I mean, they get so many pads and pencils, those kids. So then I went into the homeware section and I thought these were rather lovely. I've got eucalyptus written around the side and they smell of eucalyptus. There was only a couple left and they were just two pounds each. So I got three of those. It's mostly put out at Christmas time. So six pounds for three I thought they looked very smart, very smart candles. And then um, I bought this for myself, which does remind me of, you know, in the 1960s, the kind of um, golfing kind of outfits. But I thought, you know, with um, black, with a black polo in their country and maybe a pair of black trousers or a black shirt, I thought that was quite fun actually and they do really keep you warm this is a Primark one that I've got on and that was 14 pounds I did have a mini skirt to go with it but I'd have needed one for each leg so I, I passed on that um what else did I get oh Katie asked me to get Hattie some leggings so they're so good for things like that I mean these leggings were two pounds a pair so I got her four pairs of leggings these ones are more expensive because they're ribbed so she got black. She just asked me to get neutral. But what I didn't realise until I got to the till is that I got her three pairs of grey. So I hope that works for mother. Well, it's too bad if it doesn't. Um, a shower cap. It's all exciting stuff. £1.50. Because what I found is, you know, I only wear, I wear a shower cap every day that I'm not washing my hair. But um, my granddaughter used one in the other bathroom the other day and all the elastic had gone so it's just like an empty kind of plastic bag and um, oh yeah i got these i thought they were quite cute they're little ceramic de christmas decorations but they're like little houses so what i might do is is clip the wire off the top and just use them as standalone um kind of ornaments decorative now We've got to see about this one because I've got a massive head. This is supposed to be a headband. I'll try it for you. That's as far as it gets. But there was one there. It's quite strange what they've done. It's kind of got a hole here and a hole here. But it is stitched together. But what I'm planning to do is take it apart and then put a little piece of elastic in so that I can have it as a headband. Well, that looks really great. <laughs> It'll look nice when it's done. And you know what, it was only four pounds. I can never get like a headband to fit me. And then the last thing I got was this, which is a tad on the small side, but I just love the color. I love this color. And it's not too bad really, because it's just like a bucket hat, isn't it? So what I might do is just snip the grow grain inside. But I thought that looked quite classy. Quite, you know, not bad, really. I mean, it's squeezing my brains. Well, my head, I'm not sure it's reaching my brains. But, and that was six pounds. And that's a really lovely, soft, kind of brushed fabric. I thought that looked 
you know, if I saw that on somebody, and if it doesn't fit me, it'll look great on Katie because she's got she's got a really good face for hats. Well, she's got a pretty face, so then if you've got a pretty face, you always look good in hats, don't you? So anyway, they're just a few bits and pieces that I bought today. Um, I'm going to try and film this afternoon. I'm going to try and kind of crack on and film the um, advent calendar mixed in with the um, personalising the crackers um, thing. And I'm going to ask this question on both videos because I don't think everybody will watch the both both of them. So I mentioned the other day that I was going to ask you a big question. And this is a big question because I really don't know how it will be received. So I'd like, I'd like your honest answers really. So Katie and I, my eldest daughter, a few years ago, we... We kind of thought, well, it was me really. I needed something, and uh, so we thought we'd start like an online shop. And um, I, I've done a bit of interiors for people, so it was my company that is dormant at the moment is called um, HMC Interiors, and um, she obviously had her business and her company. And we kind of pulled those together and they did their precision engineering side of things. And then I had these items that, that go from things like bracelets, necklaces. There's a couple of kind of nice cashmere tops. Well, like ponchos really, like, you know, those versatile uh, kind of cape poncho things. And... Um, what else was there? Oh, some really nice wool blankets and a few other bits and bobs. And to be honest, I didn't give it the attention that it needed. It needed a lot of pushing and a lot of advertising. And I found that very difficult. Um, I wasn't doing any YouTube or anything like that. Anyway, the short question is this. Would you like me to put that Put that website up on my site for you to see if there's anything that you like there it's only kind of it's real costume jewelry but it's nice it's stuff that um you know i would happily wear it's it's kind of around the kind of 10 to 20 pound mark that kind of bracket and obviously the cashmere ponchos are a bit more than that but um yeah, I can't really remember what else is there, but the bottom line question is, would you like to see it? I don't want to kind of abuse my position in your lives, if that makes sense. You know, I know you're not looking at me as a shop and um, yeah, I'm just asking that question. So I'd be really grateful if you could uh, let me know what you think. That would be really lovely. So that's this little short shopping haul that I've done today. And um and then I'll get myself set up to do the um, crackers and advent calendars. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is like a PS. So I had just finished filming and um, there was a knock on the door and it was the delivery of these. And these are Harry Potter Lego advent calendars. So inside every window there is a little Harry, Harry Potter Lego toy. And as I've mentioned before, they both love Harry Potter. And um, these were down from 27 to 20 pounds. So you know how I keep saying that the discounts are only there now and I haven't seen them anywhere for less than 26 pounds. So as soon as I saw those, that, that was Smith's toy shop, I grabbed those. So that's everything, like, that's everything they're getting now for the um, North Pole party thing it's only tea like it's not a party it's just a it, they're just coming for their dinner and it'll be a special dinner but not not particularly fancy or anything but anyway so yeah i got those at smith's for 20 pound each so now the challenge is i have to hide all of this stuff um because they're little devils but anyway i'll find somewhere <laughs>